Hey there everybody and welcome back. For those of you that are interested in learning how to embed a website or a chatbot, something like this into a larger website, stay tuned. I'm gonna show you how to do this to test out a chatbot app that we made in a previous video. So before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the channel for new content. All right, so from a performance standpoint, this is probably not gonna be the best way to actually manage this, but it is a good way to test something that you want to try out. So in a previous video, I made this chatbot using ChatGPT. It searches documents for users' questions. For example, there's a question here, and the answer is pulled from a document, and this is hosted completely online using Python Anywhere. I'll also put a link in the description to how to get that hosted. So one video on building the chatbot, one video on hosting it, and then this will be the final video of that, uh, we'll call it a series, so to speak, where we're just going to build this into a website. So what we have is I have the website over at codelessfix.app slash codes, which is the source code library. And you'll see we actually have the source code here for the chat bot that we're going to be working with. And this is actually what's been hosted here. So here's what we have. We have our website or our chat bot hosted online. And then we have our website here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use something called an iframe. And basically, it's going to be a larger frame with our website and then a smaller frame with the chat bot. So you'll see we have basically all of this is iframe one. All of this is iframe two. So again, this isn't going to be the best for like long term usage for websites online. It's just a quick way to kind of test and see what that look would be like, kind of develop a prototype or an MVP. So what I've done is I use ChatGPT to build the previous application, and you'll see that we basically set it up online and hosted it online. And then I asked it a couple questions about basically just how do we embed this? So the inquiry that I made to ChatGPT, I said this is working very well, talking about the chat bot. Now I wanna embed this on a website. Write me code that will function as an index.html page. This will need to be full screen iframe to render my website, and then a second one that appears in the bottom right to render a chat bot. Now, there were a couple revisions to this because I didn't specify the location of the chat bot, and there were just a couple of other things to go through. So the final request was that uh, it's rendering the chat bot, but not the website. Now, it looks like this was actually an issue with codelessfix.com, which is my website. I think it was just blocking it from being loaded in that iframe. So I swapped it to work with codelessfix.app, which is this page here. So let's walk through what this is going to do. You'll see that we have the updated code here. So what we'll do is we'll click copy code. We will open up our text document. We'll delete everything and paste it in. And I'm not going to provide this code online because it's simple enough to get and it doesn't take much work with ChatGPT. But if you want, you can pause the video. Here's the first half up to line 28. And then here is the second half from line 28 down. Now, obviously here we have codelessfix.com. This would be whatever website you're wanting to use, making sure that you have the access rights, privileges, etc. So basically this is for educational purposes only. Make sure to only use, work with, and manage websites that you have access to, and make sure that you're doing this in accordance with any and all applicable laws, rules, regulations, and guidelines. Now you'll see this is the website frame here, and then this is the chatbot frame. And this is the link to the chatbot itself. So if you want to use a chatbot, you would paste it in here. If you want to show a different website, you would paste that in here. Now we have the two web frames up here. So we have website frame here. You'll see it's basically going from the top left to the full screen. And then you'll see we have the other frame here and you could edit the settings to make it larger, smaller, etc. For example, if I wanted to change width to 800, we could save open this page here, refresh, and now it is substantially larger. So we will go ahead and re, uh, we'll just minimize that very quickly because we have a couple of changes that we have to make. So first, we're gonna update the website here. And then second, we're going to make sure that this is set up correctly. So we are using Python anywhere, but we're not using the HTTPS site, which I think you can set up on Python anywhere if you would like. So we'll do a quick refresh you'll see that is running, but the actual file here is not. So let's just copy this and bring it over. 
and then we'll paste it in because we didn't have the right URL. And now we can click refresh. Now we have our chatbot and you'll see it's wider. So you can kind of play around and adjust your iframe. So for example, if you want to work with your iframe to make it look more like an actual chatbot, you can. I'm just giving some examples of how you could adjust the width here. So by saving this file, when I open this and I hit refresh, you'll see the chatbot is now smaller. And you'll see that the website is functioning in the background because it's rendering it. So this is basically one frame, this is the other. So as we're clicking around in this website, you'll see the chatbot is working. And this is actually a sample website I have over at codelessfix.app. So if you wanted to, you could change this to slash codes and hit save. When you do that, it will then render my source code library page here, where I list a couple of different source codes you can copy to your clipboard and use. And I have other videos on my channel on building those applications as well. And now we're gonna test we're gonna test the chatbot. So we're gonna say, what is the key? And you'll see it says the key is one, two, three, four. And that is in line with what the chatbot would say. If I say what is the key, it's gonna say one, two, three, four. So at this point, what you can do is you can enhance your chatbot online. And the idea here is if I wanted to, I could upload this website right now. So you'll see I actually have an index.html file. So since these are my websites, I can actually go host this on a different website. I could call it codelessfix1.com. And I'm not going to, but then it would when you go there, it would actually pull up this website with this chatbot there. So you do actually have the ability to create a fully functional website just off of these files, but this is more suited for some kind of a, uh, we'll just say like an MVP or a prototype, so minimum viable product or a prototype to get this working. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, you can swap out the website here to make it whatever you want as well. But again, make sure you're doing that with what websites that you have access to and are allowed to use in that way. Uh, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, check out the channel for new content, drop any questions or comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video.